Now you might be wondering from this equation right here, why do we have a 4 pi d squared? Now this has to do with the fact that, well, like we talked about before, luminosity is the star's emitted power, whereas b, the apparent brightness, is this effect of distance. So we have to have some sort of distance term. So maybe to show you a little bit what's going on, I can maybe draw myself a little yellow star. Maybe I'll have it like this. So there's the star here. Maybe we'll call that the sun. Now the sun is going to be emitting light in all directions. Okay, so no matter what it's doing here, it's emitting light in every direction you can imagine. And because of that then, it's being emitted sort of in these, maybe I could draw like a shell here. So this is a shell that has sort of the same amount of light reaching it. Whereas a shell over here, you know, is further away. Um, so it should have sort of less light, you know, at a certain distance here. So what happens then is if we're sitting over here on Earth, this is us, and let's say then we receive some of the light, well, what's being emitted is L, the luminosity. But what's actually being measured on Earth is B, the apparent brightness. You might wonder, where did this 4 pi d squared come from? That's actually because this light is being emitted. These shells are spheres. You know, they're like a 3D circle. You know, it goes all the way around. It's hard to draw this, but because I'm only drawing in two dimensions. But in three dimensions, this is a sphere. And that means that we have to consider the surface area of a sphere. And the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And so, of course, instead, if we just want to call the distance, instead of calling it r, let's call it d then this distance right here, that would be the distance, that would be the d term. So this is the sort of, this is how everything here is sort of uh, related. So we have the star emitting a certain amount of power, but you'd have to go right up to the star to measure that. So that's difficult to measure. What we actually measure then on Earth is b, the apparent brightness. And if we could find some other way to measure the distance of the star or to estimate the distance, see that if we measured apparent brightness, which is easy, and if we knew d, then we can know the luminosity. We can know what the star is really emitting. Or conversely, what if we had a trick uh, to know something about the luminosity of the star? You see, this, this is the problem, is that when we have these, this notion of a standard candle, you know, that would be nice if all stars had the same luminosity. Wouldn't that be easy? So if all stars had the same amount of power that they are emitting, then it would be really easy. Then a closer one would be brighter, a farther one would be dimmer, and then how bright and how dim, you would then know the distance. But the problem is not all stars are created equally. Some of them are really bright ones that are really far away. Some of them are really dim, crappy stars really close, and they might appear the same brightness. So this is why in astronomy we're constantly looking for some sort of property or some sort of trick to standardize a candle effect. So when we talk in astronomy about standard candles, what we're trying to do is tell some property of a star that allows us to then know what its luminosity really is. And if we know the luminosity, uh, well then we can easily measure the apparent brightness and that means from that we can calculate the distance. So this idea is at the root of a lot of the ways that we measure or estimate the distances to stars. It's by having some sort of standard candle. In other words, some sort of idea that, oh, I know that this star and that star have the same brightness. So there are certain types of stars that we can use as standard candles, but not all because most stars act very differently from one another. In other words, most stars are you know, either really bright or really dim to begin with, and then on top of that we have this effect of distance which complicates things. So hopefully you can see then how apparent brightness and luminosity and distance are related. And this becomes really useful in astronomy in order to know distances to things.